Hello, I'm John Schneider. As a kid, I'd come to the New Jersey Bayshore to visit my grandma Vi and take home movies of what I saw. Today, I live here, produce video documentaries, and recently shot this boat at night with my video camera. Where is the Jersey Bayshore? Well, let's start with the big picture. It's somewhere in here, part of the universe, and it's definitely part of our world, but it's like no place I've ever experienced. And as soon as we land, I'll show you around. Welcome to Jersey Bayshore country. Today, our history and photographs. Well, here is the Memorial Day Parade in 1947 on Bay Avenue in Highlands, New Jersey. And you see that soldier carrying the American flag on the right? That's my dad, George Schneider. And these are our home movies. Today, I am so excited. We have Les Horner, who is going to share with us some of his rare photographs from some of the towns in the Bayshore area. Les Horner, he's on Facebook, Memories of New Jersey. It's such a great program, let's meet him now. Well, I, I'm so thrilled to have with me today someone who has an extensive collection. Would you, would you call it extensive? Yes, yeah, over 7,000 photos, I guess that's, that's extensive. 7,000 photographs, historical. historical photographs of not only the Jersey Bayshore area, but uh, how, how, how extensive geographically does your collection go? Uh, Monmouth County stretches quite a ways and just all of Monmouth County and some Ocean County. That's, that's unbelievable. And we just have a few here that we're going to share of some of the towns in, uh, in this area. We were just talking before we went on, uh, on camera here about the fact that you just don't see many uh, any uh, uh, movies anymore, do you, of the old no, stuff, even no. though we know that New Jersey was a hot spot for some of the early filmmakers. Like I say, they're, they're hidden in somebody's attic or in a basement in a box, and someday they'll show up. <laughs> someday they'll show up. Well, how do you, you told me a story over the phone about how you get these, how you obtain these photographs, and you told me about one where you, you went through somebody's garbage? Yes, yeah, I, uh, I met a man years back by the name of Al Bennett, who lived in Keyport, and, and Al was a black and white photographer, and he was a collector of historical photographs, and has, he's the one that got me started. And uh, I mentioned to you about how I how I got a lot of the photos. One set of photos. There's one in this in this batch here that you'll find yeah. uh, of the Keyport Fire Department 50th anniversary. I believe it was 1921. A lady called me one day on the phone, and she said, "Mr. Horner, she said you uh, collect old photos." And I said, "Yeah." She says, "Well, I just passed the house on Broad Street in Keyport, and in the garbage can there's a lot of old photos." taped to a piece of cardboard. I thought you might be interested, so I jumped in my car. I was living in Hazel at the time, and I ran down there, and sure enough, they were there. And there was about a dozen photos that were taken by some photographer throughout the town of Keyport wow. during that parade. And as I said, you'll see one, one of them in there. And uh, they're just typical old photo shots that somebody not a professional photographer. Somebody was just out taking pictures. Sure, out there. sure. And uh, you know, knowing a lot of folks knew what I was doing, and they would send me pictures or uh, to to make copies of, or some up the Air Marine buildings in Keyport. I have a very large collection of uh, information and photographs from uh, Air Marine buildings in Keyport. That's where they built built the first Benelli bus, uh, one of the first airplanes that. Across uh, to Cuba. It was a, there was seaplane. Uh, a seaplane they right? built there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So many photographs uh, of that area. I get them from anywhere I can get them. Postcards. I used to go to a lot of postcard shows and buy postcards and reproduce the postcards. Used to be a gentleman by the name of Mo Cucci, who was a very strong postcard collector. And Mo was a good friend, and he used to loan me some of his cards to make photos of to duplicate. Uh, wow. That's where they came wow. from. Well, yeah. let's jump into it. We'll we'll talk as we go through. Uh, the first one here is is the Mansion House in Keyport. Now you've got a before and after. Uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the before. What was the Mansion House in Keyport? It was a ho it was basically a hotel. Uh, years back, Broad Street 
in Keyport was called the Turnpike. It went up through Keyport, South Keyport, crossed Highway 35 into Hazlitt, Homedale Road as we know now, all the way up Hazlitt, Homedale Road, through Homedale, Colts Neck, and to Freehold. That was the Turnpike years back. And when the farmers came down with produce to load onto the ships in Keyport where the dock was, they had to have a place to stay over, and that was one of them. Well, I, I, I'm fascinated with the before and after of, of old photographs, and you are lucky enough to have an after shot of this, uh, of this photograph. Uh, not much has changed. I mean, there's still a lot of the distinctive architectural Definitely. Uh, style is still here. This, yeah. this, this porch is gone, or this railing is gone. Right, but the building, the structure itself is basically the same. Now, do, do you visit these uh, pictures to see what's there anymore? And, I haven't in a long time. In fact, I have a lot of good friends. I post my pictures, as you know, on, on uh, Memories of New Jersey Facebook site. Oh, I'm a big fan. And uh, one of, uh, or a few of my friends that see my photos, they all go out, like this one, and another John, he lives in Hazard, went down there after he saw this and took the hmm. picture of it now. Wow, wow. The next photo that you're going to look at, the old theater in Keyport, the movie yeah, theater, yeah. I took that photo about 20 years ago, look the now photo. That. Now, what is it now? It's no longer a movie It's a, uh, in the back, it's a restaurant in the back, and uh, I really don't know what's in the front there. Now, it used to be little shops, but I don't know whether they're there. And look, even the house to the right of the, uh, of the theater. I try to get, when I shot them, I always tried to get as close to the original picture as possible. Right. Do you have any sense of, of what year this might have been taken in or the era that this was? Was this uh, the 40s? You know, so there's a, there's a streetcar, right? Or yeah, that, well, that's trolley ran through. Trolley. Trolley ran through Keyport, through town of Keyport. So that'll give you a clue. Yeah. Do you like doing that sort of thing, kind yeah. of looking at a picture I'm, I'm, and trying to figure I'm, it out? I'm not a historian. Like I told you before, I'm right. a photo collector. Sure. So I don't have all of the details that I would like to have. There's some folks that know a lot more than I do about them. But I would date that the very early 1900s. Well, you, you say you're not an historian, but you you, see, you seem to be coming one by default, well, Les. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> now, what's this? This is the that's, People's National that's Bank. That's one of the bank in Keyport. At the bank is still there. Yeah, yeah. Now, did you drive one of these cars when you... Uh, no, I wish I, I, wish I had you. one right now, I'll tell you. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, that's nice. And then here's another Keyport shot. This looks like... Uh, is this the same trolley car One tracks? of my favorites, yes. Yes, that's the train trolley uh, trolley tracks. They ran through Keyport on down to Union Beach. Yeah. And the old West Furniture Building on the right-hand side of that picture. Wow. And look, we have another shot, a better shot, of the R. Weston Company yep. furniture. Well, now, what is oil cloth? Do you have any sense of what that is? What you, what you used to put on your floor. Is that, and they sold oil cloth yes. as well? My yes. Good. well yes. Now, why did you put, now, I know you're not a historian, but why would you put oil cloth on your floor? Well, the, the linoleum, now, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I believe you. Yep. And look, they had, uh, uh, they seemed to have a delivery service here. Yes, they did. And uh, look at those, look at those automobiles. My goodness gracious. Amazing. It is amazing. A couple of ladies, mostly men. Yeah. Uh, Robert West, I uh, can't tell you which one is in that picture on the other, there's one other picture of the West. I mean, we may not have it up here. I can okay. tell you the two West brothers were, were in it. Well, you know, speaking of West, it looks like a Wild West building, doesn't, doesn't it? it? I mean, it looks like this could be something out of some Western uh, that, yes, uh, that Sam was Peckinpah their, directed. Or that something. was their building after the original building was uptown in Keyport. And it was around 1876 right. when they moved into Keyport with that building. I, I, we should put in a plug for, for uh, people who are actually put in a plug for you. Uh, if you have some historical photographs laying around and you'd like to share them, even to either donate them or to, or to let Les uh, make, copies, uh, make of copies of them <clears throat> so we can share them with the world. We'd love to do that. You can contact this program or you can contact Les and we'll give information about that a little bit later. Uh, okay, we're still in. This is Old State Highway, and this is the famous seafood restaurant called Ye the Cottage Inn in Keyport, which is no longer there after the Sandy Storm. Oh, it weathered many a storm, uh, but the Sandy Storm it was just too much damage, and it, it's just an empty lot now. Now, was the fish sign there too, uh, hanging on the? Uh, not on the not on the not building on the that one. just went down. No, they had removed that. I believe uh, that the uh, Keyport. Historical society, a society may have that. Mm -hmm. I know they used to have one hanging out in the front 
Uh, wow. That building was lost during the Sandy Storm, too, the Historical boy, Society. Oh boy. You know, it's, it's a shame because the Hurricane Sandy, uh, <clears throat> there were all kinds of photographs that belonged to a lot of the Historical Societies along the Bayshore, and quite a few of them, uh, their stuff was just plain lost in the storm. Isn't that yes, sad? Yes, yes. Yeah, a terrible shame. Now, what's terrible, this? Terrible, this terrible is, uh, what town is this? This is Keyport, and okay. this is Lower Broad Street in Keyport. If you look to the far right of the photo, you'll see the steamboat dock. Oh, I where see. Where the farmers used to bring their produce and load them onto the steamboats to be shipped over to New York. And the Raritan Bay is Raritan out here. Raritan Bay yeah, is out in the yeah, back. Yeah, uh, yeah, to yeah. the left of the photo would be the single system laundry. Yeah. Uh, what in... Uh, I can remember as one of these buildings here it used to be called years ago the bucket of blood. Why? It was, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty gruesome. It was a, it was a it was a rough place. Uh, one of the roughest places. Oh, it was a bucket of blood like a bar? Or something? It was a bar. Oh it was my a bar, God! Yep. A bucket of blood. That's yeah, it terrible. was a bar. Look at this. This is terrific. And this is now we're going to go to Matawan, which is. Matawan and Aberdeen are very close to Keyport. Keyport tends to be the first town that you see yeah, as you get off of exit 117 of the Garden State Parkway. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Matawan and Aberdeen are quite close yeah, to that. A, they're a bit inland. Uh, yeah, from, a little more inland. Although Aberdeen does have a nice beach, and I think Matawan maybe has a little sliver of it, but yep. I'm not sure. Uh, that's the old Matawan train station. That building is still there. It's not used as a train station. They built a new train station and the Matawan section, I believe, of Aberdeen. Now I wonder, Les, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these tracks uh, are uh, the right of way today is used as the Henry Hudson Trail. Yes, a lot of them are. Is this? Yeah. Do you know? No, if the no not, it's those, not. Those I believe to this day are still in use. Oh, the train track. So yes. that's right. We have a train that comes in and comes, then cuts over and starts going south right. into Middletown and Hazlitt, and yes, there's a couple and that from there goes into New York. Right, and this is 1906, it says yes. on the, uh, wow, look at that. Yeah. That's terrific. And here we are, oh, look at this place. My gosh. Yeah, that, that was a, a, a place that most everybody in the area remembers, the windmill, uh, located on Route 34, I believe they called it... Uh, Old Dutch Mill Inn. Yeah, Old Dutch Mill Inn. And a uh, restaurant. When that photo was taken. Well, and, that, and that's gone. I and suppose. that just, I think within the last few years has been taken down and... I'm not sure what is in there, I'll be perfectly honest with you, but it's... Oh, boy. Here's another shot of Matawan. <clears throat> this uh, seems to be, uh, again, there's a, is that a trolley? That That's a trolley track. That did, every, did every town have a trolley, or were they all it, connected, or they what? They were all connected, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That went down. That was going down to Keyport. Oh, I see. Heading down to Keyport, across, uh, across Highway 35. And then down into Keyport, like you saw the the, the uh, tracks in the uh, Keyport photos. Right, 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 right. I wonder what that little circle thing is right there. Huh? That was the fire uh, uh, on the fire building. Oh, and it was like, was the, it a bell or yeah, a thing? Yeah, or they, yeah. Would why they had, had it up there, up there, I can't there. tell it's, you, but yes. Well, maybe it, uh, the sound carried better the higher uh, it was or something. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to <clears throat> Union Beach. <clears throat> Union Beach uh, uh, was quite devastated uh, by the hurricane. They're coming back. They're, they're they, UB strong, they're, as they say. They're coming back. They're coming back strong the uh, down on the water the damage was extensive this were these were up on the up on the highway close to uh, highway 36 now these these are some old uh, old gas stations i don't know what the they're uh, long gone well you know it's funny uh, my dad was telling me he grew up in highlands he said you know that uh, uh, there weren't always gas stations sometimes the the gas pump would be right ex on the side of the road yeah. And you would simply pull over pull to the over side to of the road <clears throat> and you wouldn't even go off into some kind of driveway. You just get you just get filled up right there on the side you know of the road. You know what they used to say, call those the good old days? Yeah. Well, there we are. There you go. There you go. Okay. We're still in Union Beach and uh, this is sort of interesting. Is this this is the different gas station? Yes, it's and also then Union a restaurant. Beach, very close to Union Avenue, uh, this photo, uh, and, and Highway 36. Yeah, 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 there's a little sign there. It's hard to see what it is, but uh, it's interesting. Sometimes, uh, do you, do you uh, when you get a new photograph, do you, does your eye scan all the little things? Well, you know, the try funny part about the photograph is every time you look at it, you see something different. Is that right? You know, I... I you know, I go over them hundreds and hundreds of times, and it seems that each time you look at them, you, you, you pick something else out that you didn't realize yeah. or see the last that's, time. That's so funny. All right, we are still in Union Beach, uh, and I'm enjoying myself here in Union Beach. 
Now, what everybody is this? will remember that one. What is it? That was on uh, Union Avenue, Union Beach, and you remember the photographs after the sandy storm of a half of a house, one half yeah. was hanging. That was the original house. Is this the Lorraine Hotel? Yes. I knew that because it says yes. so right up yes. there. Yeah. yeah. Holy smokes. And that was there for years and years and years, and it survived many a storm, but didn't survive the last oh, one. What a shame. You know, there's, there were so many uh, homes, uh, historic homes, uh, here in Highlands, where I live, and <clears> all <throat> up and down the Bayshore. That just got wiped out. It was so sad. Well, look at Keyport, the uh, Keyport Historical Society building right down on the water on Front yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Street, terrible. Front, on. All right, let's go to Keensburg. Keensburg, look at this church. I assume it's, is it still there? It's a, yes, the church is still there, yes. Well, you know, it's amazing, some of these churches. That, now, you know, I've been to, I don't know if you've been to Europe, but uh, some of the churches in Europe Beautiful. go back, you know, to the yeah. 16th century. They're so I'll incredible. I'll tell you, for, for old, old, old churches, that was one of the finest looking churches around. And, Beautiful. And to this day still is. Do you know what denomination it is? I'm just that was a, I believe it was a Methodist church. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at them out there. Wow, that's nice. Uh, where are we now? Clara What's... Avenue in Kingsburg, New Jersey. Wow, that, that is... is Kingsburg? Yep, that's that's Clara Avenue in Kingsburg. Uh, a lot of those buildings on the on the right hand side are, are, are still there. There's a few of them still there. Holy smoke! Is that the is that the <clears throat> that's is, the water? Is that the, the Raritan Bay down there? Yep. My yes, gosh! It is. Look at that. You know, it's so it's it, because even Highlands uh, Bay Avenue, there were shops up and down up, the up and Bay down Avenue. The and, and, you know, you could just spend a day strolling the avenue and like going to the Ocean Grove stands. today. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, all of those shops in Ocean they've Grove. They've done a marvelous beautiful. job, haven't they, in Ocean beautiful. Grove and, and restoring beautiful. a lot of those great things. But th this, is, this is one of those ones where you and could And you can tell it's up. not as old as some of them just by looking at the car. Yeah. It's probably the, uh, the late 20s, early 30s. Yep. Look at that. Boy, that's nice. And now Beacon Beach, the lighthouse. Where is that located? It's no longer there. Oh, it's, well, that's why I couldn't didn't recognize it's, it. Then. It's, it's been gone for some time now, but that was a that was a pretty pretty important lighthouse there that let the people out on the water know where they were. Now, where where was this? Beacon Beach is where. You know? you know, I don't want to... Uh, is it somewhere around uh, between Port Monmouth and Keensburg? No, it, it was if I if I recall, uh, Beacon Beach was right. Uh, you know, at come, when you come down Car Avenue to the beach, it was to the right. Oh, I, I see. Believe. Okay, okay. All right. Well, if you if you uh, disagree, uh, yeah, send like us a I note. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a historian. Do I wish, you, I, I, wish I, I knew mm. everything about every picture, but unfortunately, I do. You remember the Conover uh, Light Beacon? The Conover Light Beacon. Conover, yeah, yeah, is yeah. now in yeah. Leonardo. It doesn't yeah. operate, but it's there yeah. at, on yeah. uh, Leonardo Beach. And it was two in Kingsburg, if I remember correctly. Two, Wa Waukeek or something yeah. like that. Light one of them. Well, was. there were, there was lots and lots of shipping. I remember <clears> there was <throat> even steamboats that went up the Navasink River and uh, yeah. would uh, deliver things to one of my. Uh, uh, favorite collections is steamers. Oh, I have a collection simply of steamers. You're going to have to come back and we'll do, we'll have steamers for lunch steamers. and we'll look at your collection of steamers. <laughs> steamers that plied the local waters and there were oh, many of them. Wow. Well, there was a, there was even a steamship <clears throat> dock up in Eatontown. They would take the they would take the uh, the uh, Shrewsbury. Sure. There was the there. Elbron, uh, the Seabright, uh, the Keyport. Uh, there was many local steamers. What was it? The there was one called the Seabird, wasn't there? Something? Seabird, 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 that Seabird came yeah, in we have many photos of the Seabird. A yeah. lot of the, the the great age of steamboats, a lot of the steamboats came to Highlands just filled yes. with tourists. Yes, yes, oh yeah, yeah. I try to post those uh, on my Facebook site, the steamers, every 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 other day, at least, at least one of them. Now, what is your Facebook site that people can come my and visit? My Facebook site is uh, Memories of New Jersey. If they type in up on the top of Facebook, uh, Memories of New Jersey, it'll take them to that. To, to yeah, that it page. is amazing how many uh, Facebook groups <clears throat> there are, and even websites that um, that just glorify as well they should the past with yes. photographs. And again, yeah. if you have photographs or, <clears throat> or movies, would be terrific. Old home movies. I have some oh, old home movies beautiful. of Highlands that, that go back to the fifties and sixties, which I'm happy to share with you. Uh, but, you know, I just can't find anything. And, you know, some of this old film, it just deteriorates, yeah. especially the movie film. Yeah. Well, here we are in Port Monmouth. Boy, that looks like a country road. Doesn't it? Seabrook Avenue. Look at that. 
That's pretty amazing. I mean, that's when all of the roads were dirt roads and yeah. <laughs> it was horse and wagon or old old vehicles, I old know. cars. I know. And look at this. Here's another one called the Lion's House in uh, Port Monmouth. Now, do we know if this is still here? I don't know for sure. I often, mm -hmm. when I post those, I, I ask folks, is it still there? Mm -hmm. And hoping that maybe someday somebody will send me a picture of it if it is so I can keep it with the original picture. Nice. Boy, that's terrific. Uh, do you think this house had central air? <laughs> if it does, it's just been put in there, that's for sure. I think if the windows are open, the central air was uh, provided from the outside. Well, yeah. now we're going into Middletown, and, I, you know, a Campbell's Junk, Middletown is, is first of all, a very interesting. It, so it's, many sections of it. There's, there's, there's so many villages and so many towns inside of, inside of Middletown. It's, uh, it's a behemoth, I think. Yeah. But this is Campbell's Junction. That impressed me because I re rode through Campbell's Junction coming to your house today for this season. Oh, you did? And, you know, I, I, in the back of my mind, I, as I was riding through, I'm thinking, you know, I know what it used to look looked like years back. Yeah. And that was the uh, 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 trolley station there where the trolleys, one would be heading toward Red Bank, another one heading toward Keyport. Uh, wow. But that was the, that was the, uh, the junction for the trolleys. Where do you think this camp. was? Do you have any right, you know where? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know where it is too. You've been down the road and passed it a hundred times. So right in the, as you go through a there's town. a Dunkin' Donuts there. there I believe on there's the right. a Dunkin' Donuts. There's a butcher shop. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, there. famous butcher shop in that area. Okay, okay. That wow, that's area. interesting. Wow, look at that. And this is Middletown. This is the train station at Middletown. That was the train station. <laughs> it looks a whole lot different now than it did in that picture. But Boy, yes. look at look at this gentleman up there with the with the waistcoat and yep. a top hat. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Yeah, my. There gosh. was so many old train station unique. And, and built much the same. They looked like the Madeline train station, Perth Amboy, is, is a duplicate. You could flop the names on the top and you'd think, you know, <laughs> you wouldn't know which one was which. That's funny. But that was, a, that was an interesting old station, that station there. Wow, look at that. Now, th this is interesting because while this is a picture of uh, Red Bank, it's the bridge. I, I forget what it's called. I'm thinking Miller Bridge, but I'm not sure. I think it's it the Miller. bridge coming in to, um, into Middletown. And uh, off to the right of this photograph, if you, uh, if you go through Red Bank and go over another bridge, you get into River Plaza River, and yes. Lincroft and where Brookdale College That's an oldie. Is. You can tell by the looks of the car. Well, old look model, at, look at the ro look at the the road. Planking. It, it's a planking for this. Yeah. I've been I've taken my little boat up here many times, um, and I guess what's the big uh, hotel restaurant? Molly Pitcher. A Molly Pitcher. Do you and think it was the back there? Of the Molly Pitcher yeah. when that was the Molly Pitcher's been here for a long, long time. Yep. Now you've got something as we as we uh, are getting uh, closer to Highlands, New Jersey. You've got uh, Navasink, uh, and this looks to be a residential neighborhood. Yeah. Yep. yep, I don't know a whole lot about yep. Navasink, yep. and, yep. and uh, you know, it certainly has been a lot of changes since that picture was taken. That's for sure. I'll bet. I'll bet. Look at that. And then here is as we move into now, Navasink is on one side of the Hartshorn Woods, right. and on the other side by the Shrewsbury River is Highlands, New Jersey, and this is Highlands. That's the old bridge. Well, this the is old, the old, old bridge. Now, this is the, there's is, been two after that is one. Is this the old railroad bridge? Yes. No, so this yeah. wasn't for Pat. This wasn't for auto traffic. This was just well, the section of it was auto. Yes. Oh, was it? Yes. So this was before the million dollar bridge. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. My gosh, look at that. My 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 great grandfather had a tent down here, and this could have been it, where he <laughs> sold a. Uh, Food to the to the to the guys who were the uh, the boaters. Very possible. That's that an could old that one. could have been my. That's my an old one, and yeah. you can see the surf uh, across the sure uh, across on the other side on the Sandy Hook side. My the, the, gosh! Uh, restaurant. Look at that. Okay, and the last photograph you have is uh, also um, uh, I guess this is uh, this is the Highland House Cafe. Now uh, you've lived in the uh, Jersey Bay Shore area, and uh, what do you what do you like about this area, Les? What do you like about it? I, I you know, I, I, it's hard for me to answer. I grew up in Keyport, yeah, in South Keyport, a little town they called part of it. They called it Winkle Town. Winkle Town. It was called Why? Winkle Town, Mechanicsville. Okay, yeah, uh, same thing, place. 
But that's where I grew up, and that's where my heart still is. And if I mm. had my way, I would move back there tomorrow. Is your house still there that you grew up in? That I grew up in? Yes. Oh. Yep, on Van Dorn Street and Keep Wood across from St. John's Church. Son of a gun. And what do you? What did you enjoy about it? Mean, what do you, you know, uh, we, we, we're doing this uh, program for folks who live in the Bayshore area, but folks who come from other parts of New Jersey and New York City, what can you tell them about this place? Well, the only thing I can say is, you know, it, it, it's a beautiful place to visit today as it was years back. Yeah. A lot of it has not changed. Towns like Keyport and, and areas in Middletown, and you know, they just really haven't changed. And you can go back and you can look and you can see these same old homes that you're seeing in this picture, like the mansion house that we looked at a little sure, while ago. Sure, sure. Still there. Oh, oh. Still there after all of those years. Many changes in many cases, but still there. And it, it just, it, it, my heart is, is, is in this area. It's in Keyport, and, and it always will be. Well, there's, there's some terrific houses to, to look at as you drive through all of the neighborhoods. There's the Strauss Mansion and Museum in uh, Atlantic Highlands, and we've done a segment on that. Uh, there's also the Spy House, which I believe is in Port Monmouth. Uh, which is, I'm not sure the technical name of the, of the house is a different name than Spy House, but it has a history, and you can go through and, and take a look at that. Are you aware of any other houses where they give tours in the area? No, other than, uh, you know, like a, a back, back to Keyport again, where my sure. heart is. Uh, every year they run what they have, I think they call it a house tour, oh, and uh, nice. you can go and they take a tour through town to all of the old homes. There's an old home in Keyport, that a friend of mine uh, has, and uh, I can remember him telling me about it, that the, there's a fireplace in every room, and every fireplace was built from brick, brought back by steamers to the keyboard dock from all over wow. the world. holy mackerel. The man's name that owns the house is Teddy Miller. Yeah, yeah. And I believe they call it the House of Octaves. He, they have different programs and things that they run there, but it's very interesting and a beautiful place to visit. Well, I this is. will you come back and, and bring us more photographs from time to time? I'd love to. Anything you ask for, you're, I'd be glad to bring uh, along with me. And well, thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure meeting you, and I, and I hope uh, people will uh, take us up on the offer. If you have some old photographs... Uh, Get them to us. You know, even if they're family photographs... Uh, we'd, and if they're we'd damaged. Love yeah. I just did one of uh, Tom's River that was almost destroyed when I got it, but right now when you look at it, it looks like a brand new picture. My gosh. Uh, that's the marvel of using computers today. Terrific. To well, take an old you. picture and bring it back. All right. You heard it here. Get your pictures restored. This man will do it. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> we'll try. Thanks again, Les. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.